In this video, we'll be going over what the process looks like to convert between one coordinate system to another using Blue Marble's geographic calculator. On the left hand side here, we have a OPUS report. OPUS stands for Online Positioning User System. It's a service offered by the National Geodetic Survey in the United States where a user can record raw GNSS data over a point using a survey gate receiver and a tripod and submit that raw data to OPUS and it will provide coordinates accurate to the centimeter level. In this case, it was a six hour static log which produced an overall RMS error of 1.3 centimeters. So in the report, we have coordinates in the ITRF coordinate system in terms of latitude and longitude. And then we also get the ellipsoid height. We also get those the coordinates of that same point relative to the NAD83 2011 reference frame. And here we have the projected version of that uh, relative to the UTM zone 14 north. Here the northing and easting. So in this example, we're going to pretend that we have the coordinates of a point in ITRF 2014, and we want to get them into N8083. And then we're going to use this report to check how accurate that conversion process was. So we're using this as a source of truth data more than anything. So if we go over to Blue Marble's geographic calculator and click on interactive conversion, this allows us to convert one point at a time. So one of the first things that we want to do is specify the source coordinate system. So we can double click on this and we're going to pick ITRF 2014. So there's two different versions of it. We're going to do a three dimensional conversion. So we're going to click the three dimensional version. Next, we're going to click on this vertical interface. As I mentioned before, we are just concerned about ellipsoid altitudes, so we're just going to click on that. Finally, we need to specify that the input coordinate system is in degrees, minutes, seconds. So we'll click OK there. Next, we're going to copy over the coordinates and paste them into this interface. So here's the latitude coordinates, and that's positive. And then here's the longitude coordinates. Because we're in the western hemisphere here, these are actually negatives, so we're going to add the negative sign. And then we're going to copy and paste the ellipsoid height. And this was a uh, base station uh, that was used to correct some geotags uh, for a, a drone mapping mission, and so it was acting as our base in that case, so we'll just name it base. So we should be all set on this side of the interface. So we're going to go over to what we want to convert it to. So as I mentioned, we're trying to match uh, what we have going on here. So we're going to select uh, coordinate system. This happens to be a uh, projected coordinate system since we're trying to do the northing and easting uh, in UTM. So we're going to click on NAD 83 2011, zone 14 north. Uh, for the vertical, we're going to go ahead and click on the world and click on ellipsoid. And then one thing to keep in mind is that we can't ignore time uh, when, we're, when we're thinking about these types of conversions. Um, for example, the North American plate relative to the ITRF 2014 uh, datum is moving at a rate about uh, one to two centimeters per year. So you could imagine why it's important to specify when the survey is done when you're trying to do conversions accurate to the millimeter level. So we're going to look at the OPUS report and then we can see that this survey was done on November 6 of 2020. So we're going to type in 11 for November 6, and then 2020. Next, we're going to go over and type in a date here. Now, rather than the date surveyed, um, the NAD 83-2011 uh, system typically uses a reference epoch or a, a reference date. 
And you can see here that the reference date is uh, 2010, and the decimal year here implies that it was on January 1st. So we're going to do 1 slash 1 slash 2010. Okay, so once we have all that specified, we can now double click to see what transformation methods are available to us. Sometimes there's multiple versions, but in this case there's really only one option, so it makes it easy to select. Okay, so we have all that specified now, so we're going to go ahead and click Calculate. Great, so now we have a coordinate relative uh, to the NAD83 2011 datum, and we're going to see that we have a northing and an easting and our ellipsoid height. Um, we want to look at this down to the millimeter level, so we're going to go ahead and click on Format. We're going to increase the decimal places to 3, in both the horizontal and the vertical. I'm going to click Calculate again. Okay, let's start by looking at the vertical. So uh, 250.934 is what the software came up with in the conversion. So let's look at what Opus had for the same spot. So the ellipsoid height is 250.934, so dead on in this case. Next, we're going to look at the easting. So um, we can be pretty confident that the you know first uh, digits down to the meter level is accurate. Uh, you know we'd want to confirm that, but let's just look at the decimal places in this case. So we got 0 0.490, and down here we have 0 0.490. So again, a perfect conversion, at least relative to this Opus report. So we're going to look at the northing next. So 0.965. And we're going to compare it here, 0.966. So we do have one millimeter of uh, error in the conversion, at least relative to this. But overall, uh, very, very accurate, very good conversion. And that's partly explained by the fact that we took our time to properly specify both the source coordinate system and the target coordinate system, not only the horizontal and vertical datums, but also the dates that we want to know the position of the points relative to. So you can imagine then that this process could be done in reverse. Um, we could just uh, change this and convert from NAD 83 2011 to ITRF 2014 or any of the other um, supported coordinate systems that this software offers, and, and it's a lot of them. So overall, this has been an example of how Geographic Calculator can be used to convert coordinates from one system to another, both accurately and easily. And this was a single point conversion. The same process can be repeated on a database of, of uh, input positions, either a geotags file or, or something similar. So thank you for watching.